I greet you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My name is G.A. David from Canada. I am here again to elevate you, sensitize you, motivate you with the Word of God. But specifically, today's message is Word of Advice. And I will title it the word of advice part two. The reason the, the, the fact remains that uh, I was troubled in my heart concerning some video that have been going viral against the men of God on social medias. Um, if you have not watched this word of advice. Part one, I beseech you, I will advise you to watch the part one. Though I will quickly recap from the part one. I never had it in mind of doing the part two. But I discovered that I was still, you know, I was still feeling, you know, I was troubled. I was still feeling the trouble in my heart concerning this message to make it completed. Be the fact that after the message, the Holy Spirit ministered to my heart. There are some things that are supposed to be added in the part one. The fact remains that I'm still on the track of word of advice. What really happened? Let me quickly recap for, for, for the benefit of people that have not watched the part one. I've been noticing some things, watching some videos on Facebook or many social on social medias, YouTube. These days, you know, some people will just come online, criticize the men of God. I was saying that is is of disunity. And if let's that we should put ourselves into spirit, we will know that this is a satanic device. This is a satanic you know, strategy. It's a satanic strategy to destroy the Christendom. Hallelujah. That's why the, the, the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 8. Now, Jesus was talking here. I tell you, he will avenge themselves speedily. But this is the one I'm taking. Nevertheless, when the, sons, when the Son of Man comes, we live really find faith on earth. Now, that, that was the only question that Jesus asked that no one was able to reply or respond to it. That when the Son of Man comes back, will he find faith on earth? And this is part of what Jesus asked, you know, for Saul. You know, that when he comes back, will he really find, the, find faith on earth? Now, all this kind of criticism is of disunity. Please, let's stop it. You know, I wonder, even there are some that have watched, that they will be mentioning the name of men of God. Elderly men of God, great men of God. Brethren, is of disunity. This is a satanic device. This is a satanic strategy to destroy, to destroy Christendom. Let's stop it. Let's put ourselves in spirit. Let us pray very well. Let us, oh, let us, let, let, let us put the whole armor, armor of God to be able to withstand the wives of the enemy. The Bible says, finally, brethren, 
Be strong in the Lord and the power of his mind. Put on the whole armor of God that we may be able to against the wives of the enemy. This is the, this is the strategy of enemy, Satan. This is the strategy of our adversary. The Bible says, be sober, be vigilant. Because your you, you, your adversary, Satan, devil, walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Please let us speak our let let's speak, let us speak, put ourselves into spirit. Let us know that this is not ordinary. If any man of God, man or woman of God, make any mistake, find appropriate way to 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 correct them. Send letters. Make a phone call. Don't you know, like what I said in, the, in part one of this uh, word of advice. They do. There might be collective criticism, but don't put it online. Don't put it online. This kind, this kind of things can destroy the Christendom. And another, another, an, an, another point. This is another point that Holy Spirit was you know, put in my heart that was troubling me about this message that made me come back for this part two. This is the point that you are bring, you are coming now to criticize. It might be corrective, correct, you know, it might be corrective criticism or not. Now you are coming on online to criticize them, men of God, women of God, great men of God. Do you know that this kind of criticism, either corrective or not, could derail many Christians, could derail ungrounded Christian, could derail baby Christian? Let's stop it. This is of disunity. Let's stop it. This is a satanic device. Let's stop it. This is, this is a satanic strategy. And in another way, I wonder... Why people will just be mentioning great men of God, elderly men of God. Even the Bible says, rebook not an elder. Treat him like father. Hallelujah. Let's come, you know, the Bible says, rebook not an elder. Treat him like father. I wonder, people will come online criticizing the men of God, great men of God, elderly men of God. People don't even care anymore. Don't you know it's not of God? It's of disunity. It's a satanic device. Put yourself in spirit. See what is really going on in spiritual realm. For the Bible says we wrestle not against the flesh and blood, but against principalities, against power, against the ruler of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in nine places. Hallelujah. I want you to put yourself in spirit. Put yourself in spirit. Understand what is going on in spirit. This is a satanic device. This is a satanic strategy. Please let's stop it. Rebook that elder. Treat him like father. If you have any kind of criticism, any kind of uh, correction, find appropriate way to send message to them. No one, no one, no one is perfect. No one can, nobody is above mistake. That's why the Bible says we should pray and be watchful. Pray always so that you don't fall into temptation. The, 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 the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. Anyone who has, who, whom the whom blood is running in his or her vein can easily make mistake. If anyone make mistake, find an appropriate way to correct him or her. And like, like what I said, in, in, in part one of this message, that even though people that you have seen that they have made mistake, that people that you thought they have, that they made mistake, they might have reconciled with God. They might have done, they might have made it right with God. Like as I'm talking to you, you may see anyone on pulpit making mistake. Before he or she leave that spot, God must have talked to him that this is not what I sent you. That this is not what I wanted you to say. Or what you just said, it's not according with my plan or my will. Immediately as a child, as a, as a child of God, as an anointed one, to our loving Father, we have every right to say, Daddy, please, for God, we, you know, God has given us right, chance and channel to say, Daddy, please forgive me. And he will forgive us immediately. 
you know, but you don't know maybe that person that you that you are thinking about, that you thought he, has, he made mistake, you don't know maybe he has maybe he has reconciled with God. Maybe he has corrected his way. Maybe he has he has made it right with God. You will come online criticizing them. That's not of that's not that's not good. It, it's, it's of disunity. Please let's stop it. Let's stop it. This is a satanic device. This is a satanic strategy. Thank you for the for listening to this message. And I beg you, please, as you are watching this message, I pray that the Lord will bless his word in the midst of your heart and Almighty God will open your heart to understand this message, to know the impact and the power, the impact of this message in Christendom. Please share this message. Let you let this message, let this video reach every corner of this world so that all this kind, all this satanic strategy, satanic plan against Christendom, all this plan, so that all this plan could be stopped, so that all this plan should be stopped. Hallelujah. I believe you have been blessed through this message. And God Almighty, we bless his word in the midst of your heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I pray by the power and the authority of Jesus Christ for our Lord, our God, Jesus Christ has been given the name which above every other name. That at the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every new must bow. Of those in heaven, of those on earth, of those under the earth. That every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. To the glory of the Father. I take that authority of Jesus Christ now. I stand on the rock of ages, the rock of ages. I declare and I decree every satanic strategy, devices against the Christendom. I destroy them right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus, for the answer prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Till next week that we shall be meeting. I pray, I, I, I beg you once again to, to, to share this message, distribute this message, so that this message could work, could, could go viral, could, could go ve very far uh, all across the world. So that all this satanic strategy, satanic plan will be stopped. Thank you for, the, for listening to this message. Thank you for following us. Thank you for being for, for your support, for your comment, for your word of encouragement. We say thank you so much. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. If you want more of this message, subscribe to our channel, Regain Global TV, and on Facebook, follow us on Facebook, GA David Ministry. Till next week that we shall be meeting by the special grace of God if our Father tarries. Stay in bless, stay blessed, and stay in faith, and remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bye for now.